Hi everyone, Jack from Maths Forge here, and in today's lesson we're going to be doing factors. So let's get into the first example. Which number is a factor of 9? So let's discuss what factors actually are. If you're looking for the factors of 9, you want to find the numbers that multiply to give you 9. The numbers that multiply to give you 9 are factors of 9. You can think of them as the building blocks of a number for multiplication. So let's answer the question. Which number is a factor of 9? 2, 3, 4, or 5? Well, I know that I can multiply 3 by 3 to get 9, but I can't multiply 2, 4, or 5 by any number to get 9. So I'm going to go ahead and say I think 3 is a factor of 9. So the answer is going to be 3. Let's check our answer. There it is. We'll do another one star example. Which number is a factor of 44? So ask yourself, can I multiply any of these numbers by another number to get 44? Well, I can't multiply 10 by anything to get 44, or 24, or 40. The number is 4. You're essentially asking yourself, which numbers can I divide into 44 to get a whole number? And in this case, the answer is 4, because of course 44 divided by 4 gives us 11, or 4 times 11 gives us 44. So I'm going to go ahead and say that 4 is a factor of 44. And if we check our answer, there it is. Now let's do a two-star example. For the two-star examples, we're being asked to list all of the factors of 30. So for this question, you have to really think about which numbers multiply to give you 30. Well, I know, and this is true for every number, that 1 multiplied by the number itself, 30, gives us 30. So I know that 1 and 30 are factors of 30. And like I said before, this is true for every number. Every number will have a factor of 1 and itself. But in this case, there are some other numbers that multiply to give us 30. I usually like to go up in my times tables and ask myself if I can multiply a number onto that that gives me 30. So after 1, I'm going to go up to 2. Can I multiply 2 by anything to give me 30? And the answer is yes, it's 15. 2 times 15 gives us 30. And now from 2, I'm going to go to 3. Can I multiply 3 by anything to give us 30? Well, yep, the answer is 10. 3 times 10 is 30. How about 4? Can you divide 30 by 4 to get a whole number? Well, the answer is no. You cannot multiply 4 by any other whole number to get 30. So 4 is not a factor. How about 5? 5 multiplied by 6 will give us 30. This is true. So if we just check our answer, there it is. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30 are all factors of 30. Let's do another two-star example. So we're being asked to list all of the factors of 16. So I'm going to start with 1 and 16. I'm then going to write 2. And can I multiply 2 by anything to get to 16? Yep, the answer is 8. How about 3? No, you can't really multiply 3 by any number to get to 16. So 3 is not a factor. Well, how about 4? Yes, 4 multiplied by 4 gives us 16. And even though it's 4 multiplied by 4 to give you 16, you only write down the number 4 once. You are only expected to list the factors. 4 is a factor of 16, so we just write down a single 4. And if we check our answer, there it is. 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. So I kind of skipped 5, 6, and 7 because I know that you cannot multiply any whole numbers onto 5, 6, and 7 to get to 16. So these are all of the factors of 16. Let's do a three-star example. 31. Hmm. Well, I know 1 and 31 go into 31. I know that they're factors of 31. But how about the other numbers? Can I multiply any number by 2 to get to 31? Well, the answer is no, because this is an odd number, and of course, any number multiplied by 2 gives you an even number. How about 3? Well, I can't do 3, because I know that 3 goes into 30, and then the next number is 33, so 3 does not go into 31. And if you carry on going through the numbers, you'll realize something. The only numbers that go into 31 are 1 and 31, and this is what makes 31 a prime number. Prime numbers are numbers that have two distinct factors. And what that word distinct means is that it has two factors that are different from each other. This is what prime numbers are. And if we do another three-star example, list all of the factors of 21. Well, I know that 1 and 21 multiplies to give you 21. 
You can't multiply anything by two because this is an odd number and multiplying by two gives you even numbers. How about three? Well, if you know your three times tables, you should know that three multiplied by seven gets you to 21. How about four? Well, four doesn't work. Four gets you to 20, but then it skips to 24. And the same with five gets you to 20 and skips to 25. And of course, six gets you to 18 and skips to 24. So I think these are all of my factors of 21. And if we check our answer, there it is. And that's it for factors.